हेलो फ्रेंड्स अमन्स फादर सेव्ड मनी फॉर इयर्स टू बाय हिज ड्रीम हाउस फाइनली व्हेन ही हैड सेव्ड 45 लाख रुपीस ही वेंट टू रियल एस्टेट एजेंट इन सर्च ऑफ हिज ड्रीम हाउस द एजेंट शोड हिम मेनी हाउसेस ऑल हाउसेस हैड डिफरेंट प्राइसेस स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम 30 लाख रुपीस टू वेरी एक्सपेंसिव हाउस ऑफ 95 लाख रुपीस he arranged the houses in the ascending order of the price the median was 40 the midpoint value so houses with price 30 32 38 lakhs were less than the median value and the houses with price 87 90 95 lakhs were more than the median value but this is a very simple example of median now say this table represents the marks obtained by given number of students in a class test that is four students got five marks five students got 10 marks six students got 12 marks and so on so total number of students is equal to 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 4 plus 2 which is equal to 21 21 is an odd number so when we list their score n plus 1 by 2 that is 21 plus 1 by 2 which is 22 by 2 or 11th value will be the median but can you tell the 11th value from this table no so we have to do some changes in the table let's rewrite it like this four students got five marks 4 plus 5 that is equal to 9 students got less than equal to 10 marks 9 plus 6 that is equal to 15 students got marks less than equal to 12 15 plus 4 equal to 19 students got marks less than equal to 15 19 plus 2 which is equal to 21 students got less than equal to 20 marks so what we have done here is change the frequency that is number of students that got those many marks to cumulative frequency that is number of students that got less than equal to those many marks let's see how cumulative frequency helps us to find the median value four students got less than equal to 5 marks so we write 5 4 times Nine students got less than equal to ten marks. As exact marks are given, we know first four values were five marks. So next five values will be ten marks. So we write ten five times. Same way, fifteen students got less than twelve marks. So next six values will be twelve marks. so that the total comes to 15 students cumulative frequency for less than 12 is 15 and we know median is 11th value so median value is 12 marks so while we were finding median we need to know the position of values as value of median depends on the position cumulative frequency keeps track of the position it is sum of frequencies till that value to revise to find median of ungrouped data first we find the median position based on the total number of observations then we calculate cumulative frequencies to find where median position lies in the table and using the cumulative frequency we can know the median position and the value at that position will be the median value so in this lesson we learned how to find the median of the ungrouped data in the next lesson we learn how to find the median of a grouped data so wait for that lesson Till then bye bye